All right, well, today we are in Bedford, Pennsylvania, and we are at the Goodwill. Let's see what we can find, buy, and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, looks like we have some vintage bottles back here. $3.99. That's cute with the butterfly. Vintage plaid, but that's 30 on that. Hmm. I see somebody painted that. And actually what drew me over was that lamp. <laughs> Go figure. That is quite the statement piece. Kinda love it, but do I need it? Probably not. I think I will walk away. I'm walking away. $5.99 on the vintage Valentine's Day planter. But it does have a crack. That's a shame. That's so funny. It even has the velvet roses. <laughs> that is something else. Alright, I'm gonna leave it, guys. I'm gonna leave it. What is that in the back? Some of these art projects. It's a shame that's lopsided. Salt and pepper shakers, a little Hershey's chocolate. I see that a lot where I'm at. Trips. Here is some treasure craft. <laughs> it's funny because I'm going to be seeing George in a few days. Okay, look. $9.99. Looks like Fostoria coin glass. Uh, this is adorable. Looks like the lid to a fairy light, and it's just so perfect because I happened to find the base to a fairy light a few weeks ago. This is why I, I save all the pieces. And this does have a chip, but also it's a squirrel. So I feel like that's, um, <laughs> we're gonna save, we're gonna save it anyway, because I've never seen this before. $7.99, all right. $7.99 and I have the base at the shop. I just realized that's kind of funny because the last time I was here I found the base to a fairy light and I just so happened to have the lid at the shop. So what are the chances of that? Where are those? Oh, those are pumpkins. That makes sense. I thought they were little butts, but they're actually pumpkins. Some old books. Hmm. All right. I don't think we're going to find much here today. That's kind of a bummer. I had high hopes. It's just a single Tupperware canister. Sometimes they're all nesting inside of each other. Okay, and here we are in the basis, obviously, in the wood. Wood section. We've got Jesus down here. I think he's supposed to. Oh, he does light up. Copyright 1941 Litho. Theater. I believe these are made in Canada. They're made of blue site. $3.99 actually isn't bad on that. Go grab it. There's a Doric pattern bowl in black satin. It's got damage. That's a shame. I like the black satin. I don't think I've seen that before. I usually see it 
in milk glass. So that was a moment of excitement followed by disappointment. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put my cart back. I realized that pushing a cart through here is not a good idea. It's very hard to do. So I'm going to carry these things. I don't think we're gonna need the cart. My gosh, how to paint eggs. I'm, I have to say, of all the hobbyist pieces, it's usually the Easter ones that are the most freaky. I don't know why. It's just something about those Easter hobbyist pieces. All right, well, I just did my second pass, and all I managed to do was reunite all of this Franciscan and put together the Lazy Susan in the back. <laughs> and now I'm going to take off. Well, we are here today at the Bell Vernon Goodwill. So we're going to head in here and see what we can find, buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Well, the shelves are a little more sparse than I remember the last time, but we're going to make the best of it. What are we going to find today? This is Dymus, Romania. Here are some vintage puppy dogs. Aren't they adorable? $4.99. They look like spaniels. I really like this caged light. $4.99 on that. I see a poodle. Oh, look here. This is nice. I think that's a Pilsner glass. $5.99 and it's a singular glass. So I don't think it's worth picking up a single. There are a few ashtrays. A bedpan. <laughs> some candy inside. <laughs> Scared of growth. There are some cute salt and pepper shakers. I kind of like the looks of this pottery back there. It is marked on the bottom. It's $4.99. That's kind of pretty. I like that. I think I'll grab that for $4.99. You guys can pretty much count on me to grab the pottery. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can find over here. I see some figures. I really love this vase, but um, chances are it is a contemporary decorative piece. Probably doesn't have very much value. That looks like maybe a Christmas tree. It's very vibrantly red. Oh my Lord, will you look at those? Okay, I just walked completely away from that eye. What is, what is this? What? Okay. <laughs> I just forgot what I was doing. I'm grabbing these lamps. Is that one broken? I don't know why they have that tape on there. I feel like maybe it just needs tightened. Oh my gosh, those are amazing. Are those not amazing? $12.99 each. I kind of wonder if these were the shades that went with them. I don't know if I like those shades for them, but I feel like those are probably the shades that came with them. Let's see. Are they? Ooh. What do we think? I don't think those are right. I don't think I'm going to grab those. I just don't. I don't like it. They feel like those uh, tablecloths that, yeah, they feel like tablecloths. The last time I was here, this shelf was absolutely loaded with stuff and it's just empty now. I dreamt of this place. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't actually dream of this place, but um, I did remember how packed the shelves were, and it was really exciting. Um, all right, let's go down this aisle. This seems to be the last aisle that we have, other than toys. And there's just some plastics. Bummer, guys. I take that back. We do have mugs, and we have some glasses over here, but... Um, they don't look very exciting. These are mostly just made in China glasses here. And then these, I don't know, they are nice glasses, but unfortunately pieces like this just don't have the greatest resale value. Unless of course they're Waterford, but I don't think I missed a Waterford mark on the bottom of those. I have before, but I don't think I did. Hey, that looks like one of those mugs, FTDA. You know they have the mugs with the, um, that, I don't know. Maybe it's worth something. They have $4.99 on it. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> I'll try it. Why not? All right. Well, since I sped down this aisle to jump straight to the lamps, I did miss this. I do love how yellow and colorful and fun that is. So I think maybe I'll add that to my, uh, my cart there. 
Um, the other piece that was kind of interesting was this. That might be Poland. I don't know though. I don't think I need it. I don't know how, but I ended up with lamps today, which is always a little, a little daunting. I had to make a quick flip. Ooh, I wanted to wiggle. I had to make a quick flip of the lamps, otherwise they end up in my lamp death pile. So, um, I think that's it for us today. We ended up with a few things. That's not bad. But um, I think we're gonna get out of here because it's not how I remembered it. All right, well, my total spend here at Belle Vernon was $44, and I got that awesome pair of lamps. I'm very thrilled with those. Um, I'll probably stick them in my booth, like right when I get back, otherwise they're just gonna sit for a while. Um, but I was really happy with those. I think uh, I think those will do well. I probably won't pair them with shades. I feel like everybody has like their own taste in shades. So um, I'll let somebody decide what shades they want to put on them. Um, but I think I can at least double my money on those. Those are some nice mid-century style lamps. All right, well, we are back from Ohio. It may not seem that way because you are going to continue to see videos from Ohio. But present Jocelyn, shop Jocelyn, is back from Ohio. I have a full car of things and I scheduled a knickknack sale for March 10th at 11 a.m. Eastern. And so I have to prepare for this sale. It's a big day, big day on knickknacks because we have an Easter train happening, we have the coffee drop, and I will also be having this sale. So lots of things happening and uh, we're gonna make it happen right now. We're gonna go and load the car in the pouring rain. So I've got coffee, I need coffee to make that happen. So, all right, here we go. While I was out shopping, Sage was here at the shop processing this week. Um, I think Shelby had hours at the barn so she couldn't make it in. And uh, Sage was busy processing. She did a wonderful job. We've got this, oh, I wanted to test some of this glass that I got at the factory. I was like, I hope this glows because I don't have a black light on me, but I'm gonna make an assumption. <laughs> But this is glowy glass. Uh, we also have some artists on your rent conadas on the table. I always love looking at the tables after we've had like a processing time just to see what all we've got. Let's see what's over here. Lots of art glass, that's for sure. Cute little Murano back there. And then we have all the Goodwill bags. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to pull out some of the, the fancy stuff. But there's the Carter. It's a Terry Carter. Um, it's kind of mingled throughout. So I'm going to pull them out and bring them, you know what, I'll wheel a cart out. That's the best plan. Okay, so here are just a few of those pieces. This is an Eichholt. Lundberg, of course, you guys can probably recognize that pattern by now, I would hope. Um, here it is again in a different colorway. Colorway I haven't actually seen before. I was kind of excited for that. Um, and then this Terry Carter, which I thought was kind of nice. It's larger than some of the other ones we've had. This I did not realize. That's a boo-boo right there. Chips on the very edge. I'll have to watch the video back when I uh, edit it to see if that was the case when I bought it. But I only paid, I think, 20 for it, so it's not the end of the world. I bought this because I had a bird on it. <laughs> now, these are all videos coming up. I know for a fact you guys are going to see this video before they drop. Um, so, this is a teaser. Okay, so I think the top shelf is pretty much loaded down for now. A lot of this is going to be buy it now with the exception I think of this perfume right here. I think this one might be, um, I think I might run that one as an auction um, on my sale. 
as well as the bird. Um, the other pieces, I just, I've got so much into them. I'd, <laughs> I'd, I'd be a little concerned to start those at $4. When you see the video, you will understand. Um, so I'll probably list these all as buy it now, but I'd, I'll have them in my store. Um, so I'm going to go snap photos of all of this. And then we'll come back out and we will select the items for the sale off of this table. And I see some fun stuff out here. So, all right, let's do it. All right, check this out. I'd never seen this piece before in my life. I was so excited to find one. Like, I have to at least own it so that I can say that I've had one of those before. Does it show the glow or is it too bright for you guys? Let's find a dimmer black light. There you go, now you can see it. This thing lights up like crazy and it's all different pieces too. Look at this. It all comes apart. And that's such a pretty yellow. I love it. So you can look in the buy it now for these things. They're probably going to be a little spendy. These are higher end pieces. Uh, but yeah, let's push the cart out and start looking for other stuff. These are going to be the first two items for our auction. But I think we're going to probably need 35 to 40 because it's a two hour sale. All right, well, I'm going to start over here on this table. This is a lot of the things we brought back from Florida. So this is a little bit more contemporary. Um, it's a little bit more recent. Uh, so let's grab a few things here. This is a cute little monkey. He is Artisanu Rinconata. And I know a lot of our buyers over on Knickknacks love the Artisania. So we will stick that over here. Sweet little kitty cat. This is not Artisania Rinconata. This one looks like it, but I think it might be Peru. It's L-E-P-S. You can see it there on the bottom. That's what it says. It has a similar texture, but it is different. It's a lot more lightweight. Sadler cup pitcher. Sure. You know, this is kind of like the beginning of the train, so I'm almost wondering if we need to incorporate some Easter. And I just so happen to have a few Easter things. Jim Shore Easter eggs. Should we include those in this section? I think so. Maybe a few Easter eggs. This chick is really cute. <laughs> I don't think he has very much age. He's just kind of adorable. Um, so let's grab these. White perfume. White clear. Clear perfume. That was from the factory. Andrew actually picked that out. He picked this out as well. It's really cute. Can't get it open, but it has butterflies and flowers. See, now I'm tempted to keep this for our floral train, but I think we'll stick it in the sale. This glass bag here, I can't remember. I don't think it's signed. I love those tadpoles on the side. I think that's what these are called, the tadpoles. That, like, weird glass application. This is actually the piece of glass that is in my thumbnail. Um, so for that reason, I would feel weird not including it in this sale. So we're going to add it. I don't actually recall where I bought this. I'm assuming it's the factory because a lot of things on these, this table here, that's where they came from really pretty <laughs> wherever I got it so we're gonna add it to the table um let's see here I love this cat is it a cat I think we debated when we bought it whether it was a cat we're gonna go with a cat and the donkey a 
on creamer and sugar. I can't remember where this is made. I can't remember if this is Bulgaria. I always, I always forget. I don't know why. It's such a unique pottery, and for some reason, I'm always forgetting where it's from. Pink puppy dog. Andrew picked this as well. That's an Andrew pick from the factory. Looks like we've got some clear glass. I guess I have a theme happening here. I think he picked this. We'll just call this sale Andrew's Picks. Carved wooden bear. What is that? Where did we find this? You can tell I've been away for a while because I come back and everything's processed and I don't remember where it came from. A lot of the times I'm usually able to recall that, but I guess my brain's a little foggy. Imperial glass. I know somebody was asking about this the other day. This is an egg separator. It's really fun. It looks like a face. to look this up because this is Rosenthal. It's a Rosenthal sticker on the bottom and I had never seen this before. It's a really pretty like charcoal blue. So I might research that before we get it listed. Andrew picked out these vases. We have a few different, I thought he picked out a few different colors but it looks like he got a lot of ambers. Oh there's amber purple, green, and blue. One of each. There you go. I wanted to include some Polish pottery, so I'm going to do a trinket dish. Go around one. Paperweights. Florida. A swirly one. Kind of 4th of July colors. It's kind of fun. All right. What else do we have? The bird. I feel like I should get my black light and just scan it across the table just to see what I've got that glows. <laughs> I went, I stopped somewhere on my way home yesterday and I basically cleared out their entire black light case. Okay, these are all glowy. I think that they are contemporary and I have no idea who makes them. Um, <laughs> but they glow like crazy and I was like, hey, everybody loves some glowy glass. So I, I basically cleared out the whole case. This glows pink. Which is kind of nuts. I had a few pieces. There were only a few that glowed pink. One of them was that shark. And then there's this. It has a W on it. I don't know if that's Weischer. W-E-I-S-H-E-R. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it. Here are a few more. I'm wondering if I could trade out the... Ooh, gosh. Okay, let's trade out the shark because we already have the pink shark. We'll do the shark another time. Let's stick on the table for now. So there's some glowy glass. Um, art pottery. I love these things so much. I think those are pretty great. Hmm. I also found this. That was from that same thing. And I, it's like a Cheshire cat. It's black glass, so it's hard to see. <laughs> that one might get swept away into my office. There's a bird. Hmm. Okay, where are we at? <laughs> All right, well, I went into the back and got my uh, my light. There's the, <laughs> you can see that's glowing. All right, I wanted to see if that, yes, it does. I have a shaker back there I got from Goodwill. This glows at least. I don't think the bowl on the outside does. I know that 
clothes. All right. Sweet. Not the rat. And let me show you this glows. And then there's that pink I was telling you about. All righty. Well, I bought this when I was in Mount Dora. And what's fun about this is this actually matches some glasses that I have listed right now. Um, I think it's like Fast Line or First Line or Fast Lane something studios. I might actually see something on, different on the bottom. Um, this actually I might do as a buy it now. I'm not sure. I'll have to see how much money I have into that. I'm kind of obsessed with this little weirdo. <laughs> this is a Basil Matthews. I always get so excited to find these. Usually they're poodles. Um, usually they're poodles, but this was my first time finding this little, I think it's a Pekingese. I don't know, feel free to correct me, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Maybe it says right there. And that just says Matthews. Anyway, um, I'm kind of debating whether to include that. He's so freaking cute. He looks like an alien. It looks like he has four eyes. Maybe, doesn't he? <laughs> So we'll stick them on the cart. Uh, this is a uh, soup bowl. That's right. I really like the colors on that. All right, a little bit more Archisonia. So between this and the Spaniel, and I was sucker for the otters. Here is a little Easter bunny that I've had for a while. I think I'm going to include that. Um, and then I was just going to scan the shelf and see if there are the shelf, um, the tables here and see if there's anything other than that that's Easter. But I think most of my Easter stuff is on the back shelves. And uh, that's where we're heading next. All right. Well, the Easter is in the closet. So that's where I'm trying to get to at this moment. <laughs> but I forgot we had all this stuff that we left uh, from Florida when I was like, okay, time to go to Ohio. This right here is our Florida card. I gotta deal with that stuff. Uh, but let's check in the closet for Easter. So here it is. Holiday. I know you guys expected this to be like packed full of junk. But this is all you get. Um, let's see. Christmas, 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 Thanksgiving. This is all Halloween. Maybe we don't have any Easter. It's weird, but I don't really do a whole lot with Easter, so I I usually buy it just for that holiday, and then I, I flip it pretty quick. So Christmas and Halloween are really the only ones I hang on to. And then the Thanksgiving that I have every year because I forget to sell it. I do know that somewhere on this shelf is a shaker. Where did it go? with a little Easter shaker and I was like, hey, I should list that for Easter. And then I don't know where it went. There it is. There's our Easter right there. Look at that. Now we're ready for a sale. We've got an Easter shaker. It has a bunny on it. Check that off the list. Glass and Easter. <laughs> Perfect. And there you have it. <laughs> the shelves were empty. And now they're full of stuff. Uh, so this shelf here, I'm going to do uh, buy it now listings. So I'm going to have some buy it now listings up. And then down here, this is what our sale is going to look like. So I'm going to have all these items ready to sell for our knickknacks sale. So the sale is scheduled for March 10th at... 11 a.m. Eastern. I'm probably going to do a live pop-up chat at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. Um, just to talk about all the stuff we have going on um, throughout the day. We have a really awesome Easter slash glass train happening um, organized by one of our sellers, which is really exciting. It's day two of that. And that has been going on for most of the day today. That's why you've heard my phone in the background because I've had it playing in the background. Um, but tomorrow we also have a coffee drop at 6 p.m. Eastern. We're releasing the new uh, chocolate bunny flavor 
which I'm very excited about. Um, so you guys can hop on over to knickknacks.net, get yourself some of our newest coffee flavor. Um, but I think on that note, I'm probably going to hop off of here. I'm going to head home. It's been a long, uh, a long week in Ohio. Um, and it's good to be home. So I want to get home, uh, spend some time with, uh, with the fam. And, uh, yeah, I think we're all ready for the sale. And, uh, Hopefully I see you there. Um, now you can't bookmark it, but you can set an alert in your calendar, um, whether that's in your phone or maybe just write it down the old fashioned way. But uh, yeah, hopefully I see you there. 